The truth is that the more you know, the more solutions you can profile because knowledge is like a, a toolbox. The more you know, the more you can bring out of that toolbox to profile solutions. I'm engineer Anir Fiok Usoro, a power systems engineer. I studied electrical electronics and then majored in power systems. Uh, but I have serious passion for renewable energy and top on that is solar systems. Uh, my dream has always been to be an engineer and right from an early age or right from an early stage in life, I knew exactly what I wanted and I pursued it. In terms of shaping me, I think the fact that I knew what I wanted early in life has also affected my way of reasoning. So I find myself reasoning like an engineer in almost every situation. Ah, okay, I know it was in my primary school, somewhere between primary two and primary four. And uh, I remember very well, I, I saw a very little experiment and it was like, wow. And right from then I was hooked. Uh, and uh, let's say from primary four, I knew it was engineering and I grew from there. Okay, what fascinates me about the engineering field is that the engineering field is very dynamic. Uh, you have different approaches to the same issues, different approaches that give you the results. So the fact that engineering is not one-way street, it's not that everybody must approach it from the same angle, it's very dynamic. That's what fascinates me. That's what um, makes engineering very interesting. You can approach it from any angle. Just follow the rules, follow the, the principles, and you are fine. So many people think engineering is um, guesswork, in my own opinion. So many people think engineering is trial and error. Uh, you do it this way, it works, you try it again, it works, and then that is how it should be done. So many people don't want to go into understanding the principles, many people don't want to understand the rules, many people don't want to understand the laws that govern the engineering profession. So most times you find people getting themselves in a bind because they tried something, it worked once, and then a different scenario presents itself, and they think they can use the same approach and get things done. So that's one thing about engineering a lot of people um, fail to understand. Engineering is not um, guesswork, it's not trial and error. You, read, you need to know the principles, you need to know the laws that govern the engineering profession and then how and when to apply them. My core strength is the fact that I'm able to think outside the box. Outside the box, I'm able to use whatever material or whatever resources I have at my disposal to provide solutions to challenges because you might, you might never have a situation where you have it all available. Materials, man, machine, everything all available. So you'll find out that in the field, you always make do with what you have. And to be able to provide solutions or results, you should be very, uh, how do I put it, flexible. Able to think on your feet and use whatever resources you have to get the solutions you need. Lessons in the field that have stuck with me, uh, you always hear safety, safety, safety first. And that is very true because if you at any point feel safety is not necessary, you might be shocked that the very day you let your guard down is the day that you really needed to make sure you were safe. So safety is the first for me. Being able to ensure that you are safe at every point in time, especially for us electrical engineers or power systems engineers, you know you are dealing with high voltages, you know you are dealing with very, um, how do you put it now? very high voltages and all that, you have to be safe. Second is um, being able to follow protocol. So sometimes you think that protocols are burdensome, but as, as, as you grow, you begin to understand that these protocols were put in place to help. So being able to pro and follow protocol is really important. And then of course, knowledge and intelligence. The truth is that the more you know, the more solutions you can profile because knowledge is like a, a toolbox. The more you know, the more you can bring out of that toolbox to profile solutions. So I would say um, knowledge, intelligence, following protocols and of course making safety number one. Um, the things that make energy stand out for me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll focus more on the product. So first of all, the, the product itself, starting from the fact that it's all in one. What do I mean by all in one? You don't have things um, scattered here, you have this here, you have that here, you have no. It's in a beautiful box, everything containerized in that box, all you do is deliver that box make your connections to the box and you're good to go. So that all-in-one design stands out for me. Secondly, is the, the, the intelligence that the systems have. So if you have a system that is intelligent enough to be able to adapt to different customers' demands and requests and desires, you have some customers that are 
very keen on cost reduction. They want to reduce their consumption. Yes, the system is intelligent enough to be able to handle that. We have some customers that their major focus, their area of concern is backup. They want to be able to have many hours of backup and the system can be configured to do that. You have some customers that what interests them is they want clean, when I mean high quality energy, maybe for sensitive equipment, for equipment that um, are sensitive to fluctuations, maybe in voltages or frequency. Yes, the system can be configured to do that. Another thing that stands out or makes an energy stand out for me is the fact that the systems can be monitored. So we have a platform called SolarBase, an in-house um, design that makes it possible for a customer or anyone that has access to be able to monitor what is going on with the system. So if I travel, for instance, and I want to know maybe my state of the state of charge of my battery or what is the load on the system or what solar production is like for the day, whatever parameter, I can stay anywhere on the, in the world and I can look through my app. It can be an iOS app. If any, any, anywhere I am, I can figure out what is happening with my system and monitor it. So that, that's, really, that's really a good one. So um, you have the design of the system, you have the intelligence of the system, you have the ability to monitor. And finally, the fact that it is simple to use. So as a customer, when you get an energy system, it's very simple for you to understand. It's a box, basically three components, the inverter, the battery, and then the control box. So even if you're not a techie, you're not somebody that is, uh, how do I put it, technologically sound, all you just need to do is get basic education and you're good to go. Wow, so working with energy has been very interesting, um, very interesting people. Uh, also, you meet a lot of customers, you know, um, I'm more on the customer side, and it can be really interesting. Oh, 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 oh,